Can you, you clarify say? something? Can you clarify something to this idiot? <laughs> yeah, this illiterate individual. That's in speakers corner trying to get fame. This man just claimed that you called me oh, stupid. Yes, 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 yes. No, because you interrupted me so, so many. <laughs> so that was a yes, by the way. Can you show me in the Quran mm -hmm. where Muhammad says that where you should listen to feek? <laughs> Is that question. the only thing you said? Is, no is that sign. the only thing you said? Wait, well, sorry, well, well, hold on. Why aren't you lecturing him about being civilized? <laughs> no, I was having a calm conversation with him Islam before you the, forced your way into this conversation. Is is That's what's wrong with it. That's what's wrong. There you go. There you go. Nothing wrong with Arabization. We are the first. The Nubian first. They are copying us. Oh, so Mohammed was copying some Nubians. Who's the first and the last again? Allah. Why is Allah stealing the divine titles of Jesus? Why are you stealing our text? That is the wonderful news that came out this week. A Muslim, a Muslim country decided of their own volition that they don't want to be governed by Sharia. Tell me, tell me, he, he said, he do said, you believe Muhammad was a prophet? Of course. Did, what, was Muhammad speaking to God when he said that you should fast during the sunrise and the sunset? Is that what I Did he get that from that. God? But do you accept a question? Did he get that from God? You? Do you accept questions to you? I'm asking you. No, no. Does he accept I'm, asking ask yeah, yeah. Yo, I'm asking you. I'm asking you. Ask me. Oh, he's, him. Of course, yeah. Right. You have to, so, you need to why, ask as well to talk so ask you. So, where does Muhammad's yeah. command apply to the, the Muslims of Greenland where the sun doesn't rise and doesn't say except yeah. for two times a year. Oh, really? That How do you do yeah, Ramadan? Yeah, yeah. It's not in Greenland. That's all I got. Are you a closet? Wait, wait, one second. Like one second. Why, why, don't run away from the question. It's yeah, not yeah. from, uh, what are you saying? I don't, so I don't, the perfect, yeah. Muhammad's the perfect guidance for all mankind, right? Yeah. So his guidance is applicable to all mankind, right? So how does it apply to Greenland where the sun doesn't rise or set except twice a year? So, so the logic is, me? the logic is Muslims question? have Can to leave ask Greenland. Can He's ignoring me. Right. Can you ask me the same question? Yeah, I've asked yeah. you the same question. What's the yeah. answer? But do you accept to ask you again as well? Did anyone hear yeah. an answer to I'm, my question? I'm willing to He's just going to change the topic. No, I'm challenging him. So, I'm willing to ask, to ask him so, the question. So, brother, brother, if you ask unfortunately, I have to shout. No, no. Because no, this brother is not answering the question. He demanded that I ask the question of him, but he didn't actually answer the question. Brother, brother, answer my question. Do you want to hear him answer my question? Do you want to hear him answer my question? You ignore our answer question. Ask and answer my question. Now, if you would you okay? We'll do question for question. Brilliant. Brilliant. So I've asked you a question. Good. Muhammad is a guidance to all mankind. You don't have to repeat it. Good. Answer the question. Witnesses, question, question, question. Question for question. Yeah, we have an Islam. Yeah, 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 yeah. Great. We, ha we yeah, have an yeah. Islam. So answer the question. Anyone will see high again? We have an Islam fiqh. Yeah. The fiqh the scholars make jihad. How the Muslims in Iceland, how Muslims in Greenland fast in Ramadan since the, 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 the day in summer is too long, 24 hours. If and if it, if it and the in the winter, in the winter, the, the, the night is too long, 24 hours. I'm, I'm talking about the North Pole or South Pole. The Fukaha make uh, the fiqh, you know, make, they, they make jihad how they fast. Well, and they make the solution. Why? I'm not talking about Wait, you. He's I'm got to ask me a question now. That, by the way, he's Are you going to ask me a question? He's, Are you going to ask me a question? No, no, no. Are you going to ask me a question? He's Bro, ask me a question. He's Algerian, posing to ask me a question. He shouldn't be in this country. Ask me a question. That, did it work? That was shut up. Okay, no. if you guys want to no, argue, ask, that, ask him. No, he's this anti Muslim. Okay. Just ask he's me a question, bro. He's licking your ass. Yeah, I'm gonna. Okay. You're an anti Christian. Do you, okay. do you believe the Bible is the word of God? So, in answer directly to the question, yeah. do we Christians believe that the Bible is the word of God? Yes, we do. However, when a Christian says we believe that the Bible is the word of God, we do not believe as Muslims believe about their Quran. Mm -hmm. We believe something different to what Muslims believe. Okay. So when we say 
that the Bible is the Word of God, mm -hmm. what we mean by this statement by this? is that the Holy Spirit has worked through the minds of men and their words to capture in history what God is doing, to portray what God is like, to men? communicate one question for one question. You can't even keep to your yeah, own yeah, rules. Yeah, right. do, yeah, do. One question for one question. Yeah, 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 yeah. That who God is, what God wants us to do, and how God wants us to live. But these are the words of men. Now, I want to respond to his answer because it leads to my next question. He said, we Muslims believe in fiqh. Now, what for those fiqh? of you who can't even do his own rules, he said no, one question for fiqh? one question. I let him ask a question. What is fiqh, first of all? Don't interrupt. Fiqh, fiqh. Don't interrupt. Try to practice the rules that you established. So, for those of you that are not initiated, fiqh is the legal opinion of a scholar. The problem with his argument is that Muslim scholars don't agree. Muslim scholars who are Shia do not agree with Sunni scholars. Salafist scholars don't agree with other Sunni Muslim now scholars. So the fiqh that he appeals to yeah. demonstrates two things. One that the guidance is not coming from Muhammad and that Muhammad isn't uh, the example the to follow. Now, it's the preaching. scholars that tell the Muslims what to do. And two, now. that fiqh itself demonstrates that Muslims have no certainty about what they believe or what they should practice. Sharia law actually, amounts to nothing, nothing to do but varying Jewish opinions Jewish. of different Muslims. <laughs> now, let me ask you this question. Can you show me in the Quran where Muhammad says that where you should listen to fiqh? <laughs> Say it again. Can you show me? Word, the word. Speak. What is speak, first of all? Can you show me? No. Question for question. What is Isn't it amazing he doesn't now want to deal with his own rules? Yeah. Because you don't know what is speak. Do you? Did you hear me? Did you hear him demand question for question? Answer the question. Show me in the Quran where it says that to you speak. In Islam, we have first of all, you have to know Quran and authentic Hadith. You have to know this, yeah? Do you know we have. Co Will you shut up? <laughs> <laughs> this, this guy, this Adrian guy, the anti Muslim hate. Now, Islam. notice, guys, how many times he interrupted me. Now, now watch this. I'm going to interrupt him. Oh, look, look, no, straight away. Listen, listen, he demands that I listen, no, listen but he wasn't listening himself. No, 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 Do you see? Do you see? We have, Do you no, see? No, no, now. I've already answered you. We have an Islam. Sorry. We have an what Islam. was my question? Yeah, it was. Show me in the Quran when Muhammad says that you have to do fiqh or to listen to Show me, show me, no. Okay. Show me where it says you can do fiqh, show me. Well, no, will you shut up to a Yeah, I want to hear. First of all, this question composed only by idiot people who don't know what is Islam, what is fiqh. Actually, fiqh, yeah. Actually, Islam is Quran, is authentic hadith. Quran is a book of guidance. Authentic, authentic hadith text about uh, many things in Islam branches, how to fast, how to pray, how to do, and so and so. That's, that's something he doesn't know. Now I answer this question, let me do the same what you did to my question about the Bible. You see that it's word inspired by God to man. I'm asking you, who are these men? And before you see that, who are these men? Which version of Bible is the true word of God? Yours? What is that? That's another person. question. Yeah, that's not. The no, it won't be. It won't be severe question. My friend, my friend, it won't be the severe can question. I, can, I, can I comment well, on what? Well, one minute, one minute. Well, uh, one. So look, now as I said, he said that uh, we don't mean really literally the word of God. God, <sighs> men inspired by God. They got that's a word from God. Now I'm, I'm asking you this question. Which version of the Bible is truly the word of God? Protestant, Catholic, Orthodox. Russian Orthodox, Ethiopian Orthodox, Coptic Orthodox, King James, several, many, many Can versions. And don't tell me that. And then, will you shut up, you idiot? Can you do uh, that? Uh, uh, no, I'll no. Send you to don't Japan. tell me. Don't oh, no. tell me they are the same. Don't tell me it's a different translation. 
different versions and don't to, don't fool me. Don't try to fool yeah. me. I know the Bible. Okay. Hello, which Mr. version? Which here, version yeah. is truly <laughs> word of God? Since they are different, and the many yeah. boxes, well, and in the Pakistan they have 66, in the Catholic they have 83, uh, 70 something. So, in answer to the brother's question, so please notice. So please notice. One second. Oh, amazing! 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 Well, one, one moment. Let me let me respond. Let me, let me. What, 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 one, sec one second, bro. One second. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So, the brother here beat me to the punch, but he raises it very well. The Quran claims to be perfect and complete revelation. So, if it is perfect and complete revelation, why do you need hadiths at all? Oh, he's interrupting. You have an SMS. One second. One second. He's interrupting. Because what we have here is another butthurt Muslim that can't defend the inconsistencies of his Islam. The fact of the matter is, the Quran does not say you speak. It doesn't say that there's going to be this body of people that can give legal opinions, that can answer questions like, what does a Muslim do in Greenland during Ramadan? It doesn't say that. And when, and when the brother, and when the brother said, and when the brother, and when the brother said, uh, my father's when the brother way. said, I gave him the opportunity to answer my question. I asked him for a verse. Did anyone hear a verse? Did anyone hear a reference to a verse? No. And do you know why not? Because there isn't a verse. Muslims made up the concept of fiqh after Muhammad. It is bidda. They invented their religion and they did something that Muhammad himself did not do. No! If you want to preach, no! Notice that I allowed him to speak and he has interrupted me consistently. And why does he do that? He does it because Muhammad is a crap example to humanity and he is following the example of his crap. Prophet. No, ladies and gentlemen, he asked a question about the Bible. He said, Which Bible do I believe in? I want to tell you. The Bible is truly word of God since they are from each other. So the question is, which version of the Bible is truly the word of God? Let me answer that question clearly. When he uses the word version to the Christian world, the word version refers to translations. And we Christians and we Christians accept every accurate translation of the Bible. No, we Christians believe that our doctrines, that our doctrines existed before the Bible existed. So she has this says, two meters. Everyone else needs to spread out. Don't you need to come up with better ways. arguments than that. It's rubbish. Okay. We will have to start enforcing the code of regulations. All right, I've got a better argument for you. Are you listening? Mohammed was in direct communication with God when he revealed Islam. No, 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 you don't get to tell me what to do. You interrupted. Oh, why, tell me, why do, you, why do you get to tell me what to do? Uh, is it because you're superior? Is it because Allah has made you superior in the truth? Is that why you get to tell me what to do? I'm asking you. Why do you get to tell me? Why do you get to tell me what to do? Because you're chatting rubbish. And, and is you're that because rubbish. you're in the you're truth and I'm not in the truth? Oh, plus one. Is that, is that why you get to tell me what to do? I'm asking you. Why are you frightened to answer some questions? Why, 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 
Right. Well, so, so here's the point that I raised. Here's the point that I raised. You believe Mohammed? Well, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. If I'm rubbish, you got nothing to be fear of. Let me say it again. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. One second. One second. What's the half? What half? What's half Quran? What's Quran and Dura Quran? How many Qurans is that? One Quran. Has Quran, was Quran, 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 Quran equals one. And he's yeah. a saying that we anyway, don't, can't do maths. So, you so no, you don't get to tell me what to do. You don't get to tell me what to do. Because I'm not your dimmy. That's why you don't get to tell me what to do. You don't get to tell me what to do because I am not your dimmy. I'm not your dimmy. So, so, we're going to do question for question. No, you answer my question. Okay, I'll answer your question, right? And then, and then, and then I want you to answer my question. Do you agree to that? Answer my question first. Do you agree to the terms of the debate? Do you agree to the terms of the debate? Answer my question, then I'll think about it. No, no, no. So in other words, what he's saying is, he's going to let me answer, and then he's just going to dismiss the answer and walk away. Okay, let's see, let's see. So let's see if that's what he does. I'm predicting what's going to happen. I'm going to address his question, and then the moment I try to ask him a question, he's just going to walk away. You said about the thick. Ask right. your question again. Ask Bible. your question right. again about the Bible. I'd like to add to that. No, 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 no. The, the question was about the Bible. Do you know what fiqh so, is? So, so, do you know what is? Do, it's about a legal opinion. Yeah. Oh, you there we go. So I do know what fiqh is. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. Right, so what show me in the Quran where it says that you can use fiqh. We don't use just the Quran. Ah, the hadith. did the you hear that? Muhammad came to teach us. We don't said, use the, the Quran, Quran to establish to fiqh. One second, let me answer it for you. You're we don't your use the Quran to establish fiqh. Explanation. You're putting your own interpretation and explanation to Islam. Am I wrong? No, you're not wrong. But there we go. What you're saying, what you're saying is, what? Why did it come like that? What's wrong with that? Right. Fiqh. So, no, let me you asked the let question. Me, let me answer. Let me, let me answer. No, no. You asked me, me answer. a question. Let me answer. What is wrong with no, that? Me, I'm going to tell you what is wrong with that. What's wrong with fiqh? Where's what's wrong with what's that? Wrong with does the Quran claim to be perfect guidance to mankind? Yes, it does. So, yes. how do you? Why do you need to add to perfection? Along with the Quran. Allah sent the Prophet to guide people. Did he not? Yes. Yes. Yes, he did. Oh, how did he do it? Yeah. He taught them from his own teachings. Brilliant. Yes. Yeah. So that doesn't go against the Quran. So does where it? does that legalize does that speak? Does that go against the Quran? One second. Does that go against the Quran? No, it's an interpretation of the Quran. No, it's not. It is an interpretation he of the Quran. He sent the Quran along with the Prophet. He did not send the Quran without the Prophet. The Quran commands you no, to obey the Quran. One second. And it second. commands you to the obey Quran the Prophet. Says, the Quran says, where Quran does it tell you to obey fiq? What, what? what surah is that? I'll explain that, yeah? What surah is that? If you love Allah, if you love God, follow the Prophet. That's what right. the Quran says. So where's that, now, where does that legalize fiqh? That's, what's fiqh? You know, Jewish Jewish spirit. Jewish spirit. Yeah, yeah, it's legal opinions. Yeah. So Do all legal opinions hadith, agree with one another? Do they have to? Brilliant. So yeah, what we've got, that, so what we've got, yeah. what we've got is Muslims performing bidder because they're doing what's something that Muhammad Bidda, yeah. Bidda, innovation. Yeah, so what's the am I wrong? Am I, am I wrong? No, but you said okay, so good, I'm right again. What so I was right about Fiqh, I was right about Bidda, and I was right about it not being in the Quran. I'm doing, I'm doing well so far, guys. I'm doing well so far. But he said I was talking rubbish. You said Fiqh was Bidda. But I'm right. Explain that. How is Fiqh a Bidda? So, it's Fiqh as a Bidda. Right, brilliant. So, Fiqh is a Bidda because of this. Did Muhammad have a, have, ever give a legal opinion that disagreed with his own? Did Muhammad give a legal opinion that disagreed with his own? With his own opinion? Yes. So you're saying that Muhammad did, did he ever contradict himself? Of course not. Muhammad. Do bidders contradict? Sorry, do fiqhs contradict? Fiqh is those things that isn't clear in the hadith. That, like, for example, you so they're not Greenland. Wait, they're not clear in the hadith. Second. Hold on one, one second. Fiqh. Fiqh. No, hold on one second. Hold on one second. Fiqh. Fiqh is the elaboration of what is not clear in the hadiths, and the hadiths are explaining what's not clear in the Quran. So that's what he said. One second. That's what he said. Are you going to put your own interpretation of what I've said? Was I wrong? No, let me explain to you. One second. This is great. No meaning, you know, let me speak. That's what I mean. Okay, of course. Go on. If you go with all the Rules and regulations, there's over a billion. Right? How many verses are the Quran? Oh, definitely not a billion. Six, six. Definitely yeah, exactly. not a billion. Exactly. Yeah. So the Quran's point isn't to give every single rule and regulation, it's guidance. Show me that in the Quran. Yeah. It's 6,000 verses, that's, isn't that clear enough? No, it's not. Yes, it show is. me one. Listen, anyway. You just yes, said there's 6,000 anyway, verses, me show back. me one. Let me speak. Show me one. Why, why, why just one. Let me speak. Show me just me one speak. verse in the Quran. 
Show me just one verse in the Quran that finish, says you let speak. Let me finish what I want to say. You what? Just one. Let me finish what I'm going to say. He can't do it. Let me finish what I'm going to say. What well, he said about fiqh is a bid'ah, right? It is bid'ah. No, it's not bid'ah. Did Muhammad do fiqh? Listen to what I'm saying. Listen to what I'm saying. Did Muhammad do fiqh? Listen to what I'm saying. Go on. He said, follow me and the rightly guided caliph. Does he, did he say that or not? In the Quran? The hadith, what the, what, the Prophet said that. Right, that the hold Quran? on one second. So Muslims said, don't all agree on the hadith. No, 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 no. What did the Prophet say? He said, follow are you, me. Are you quoting Sunni or Shia hadith? Me, I follow the rightly guided hadith. Uh, which which hadith? hadith? Sunni or Shia hadith? Listen to what I'm saying. Listen to I what have, I'm I heard saying. you. Yeah. Now, you me, said me, that I'm there's a finished. hadith. You've I'm said that I'm I'm you said that there is a hadith that says follow the rightly guided caliph. Do Shia believe Abu Bakr is rightly guided? Forget Shias. Yeah. No, there you go. So the Shia Muslims don't you because saying? you've been interrupting me the whole time. And you're going to put your own interpretation you're, and you're, explanation so like you've I'm just asking you questions. No, let me finish I'm what I'm asking saying. you let questions. Let me finish what I'm saying. So, you haven't answered even one on. of my questions yet. Because you I'm haven't asked one. And then when I attempted, oh, you insisted. Which Bible do you go follow? Right. Which Bible so let me answer that question. Right. So the brother is the brother is asking, which Bible do I follow? As a Christian, I I will use. The Orthodox Bible, the what? Catholic Bible, and the Protestant how many, Bible. How many books I in the will Catholic use Bible? all of them. How many books, how many books in the Catholic Bible? One second, one second, one second, because you how didn't many, answer my question. I didn't answer everything. So, how, how many books so in let, the let, let, let me answer this question. How many books let me in answer the, the question. How many okay, are you listening? How many books in the Catholic Bible? Are you listening? Yeah, yeah. You're listening? Yeah, go on. Okay. How many? So, the no, Catholic I Bible. I asked you a number. Wait, I didn't, did I, I didn't yeah. even how get my books, first sentence out and he interrupted. So you're listening. So is it a number? So you're listening. How many books is there? So, in the Roman See, Catholic Bible. Look, he's not even you. listening. Okay, he's exactly, not listening. Exactly. So, and it's not a problem. Did Why you think that? So it's not a problem. So wait, it's not a problem. One Absolutely, so it's not a problem. 73 books in one Bible. Yes, yeah. in the Roman Catholic, books. in the Protestant, yep. And you say that is the word of God. And in the Orthodox, the you've got chose, even more than 72. Chose, who chooses and decides what is word of God and what isn't? Brilliant question. Brilliant what, question. What, 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 so brilliant that? question. Did God sanction that? So, so the, the let's be clear. Or did Jesus Let me answer that? the question. So we Christians, those of us that know our faith, those of us that know the history of our faith, know that the doctrines of the church, the doctrines of the Christian community came before the Bible. If you don't believe me, read Luke chapter 1 verses 1 to 4. And if you ask the Jews, one second, right? one the second. Oh look, he was complaining answer. about interruptions, oh, you do but now anyway, he's interrupting anyway, so you because you've been interrupting. Listen. You were interrupting. If you ask the Jews, so you we Christians believe in all you've the scripture. Christians of every single denomination believe in the 27 books of the New Testament without any disagreement amongst us. By contrast, Muslims disagree about their hadiths. Sunni and Shia Muslims use different hadiths to interpret their Quran and they believe in different doctrines because they follow different hadiths. Those hadiths are essential for how Muslims understand this book and yet they do not agree about which hadith to believe in? Shia reject Sunni hadith. Sunni reject Shia hadith. Sunnis themselves disagree about which hadith to trust. They disagree. We Christians are in unanimous agreement about the New Testament and we are in unanimous agreement that the books of the Old Testament that differ between the Roman Catholic Church and the Protestant Church are of secondary importance, not primary importance. And so, yes, we Christians disagree about the Deuterio canonical books, but we all agree that fundamental Christian doctrine is established 
by the New Testament. He had no leg to stand on his preaching. Spread yourself out. His preaching as usual. Okay, so I want to ask you a question. I've asked, I've asked this question of other Muslims. So here's my question. Here's my question. So here's my question. Here's my question to you. No, no, I stopped talking to you now. Because you were rude. So, I was trying to, you just kept shouting. So here's my question to you. Muhammad, you believe... Muhammad, you believe, yeah, is the guidance to all mankind, right? Yeah. Brilliant. So, what he says to do and what he does himself is the example we should follow, right? Yes. Okay. So when the sun, when the sun, when the sun rises and sets, when the sun rises, that was an insult, by the way. It was just in Arabic, just so you know. When the sun rises and sets, yeah. When the sun rises and sets, yeah. Okay. So when the sun rises question. and I'm going to. You're asking me a sentence. Yeah, are you? Ask me a yeah, a sentence so usually is constructed. Know what question is, and a sentence. Can you a sentence apart from the word why or how usually goes in a, a question usually goes in a sentence form. I'm sorry, I've got to teach you about English grammar. He says ask him a question. He doesn't even listen. Can you ask me? He doesn't even listen. So ladies and gentlemen, because he stopped listening, I'm going to ask the question to the crowd, and hopefully he'll listen as I speak to all of you. Is that camera rolling? So. Oh, Muhammad, Muhammad is said to be a guidance. Do you see? He's not even listening. So, Muhammad is said to be the guidance to all mankind. When Muhammad fasted in Ramadan, he based his fasting on the rising and the setting of the sun. So how does his example apply to Eskimos in Greenland where the sun rises and sets only twice a year. Let me ask you a simple question. When you go to the toilet, what do you Your do? Your answer. What do you do? Do you use tissue? What do you do? I've got an answer for you. Okay. All right, let's be, let's be civilized human beings. Tell him that. No, no, he should listen there. Tell him that. <laughs> That's uncle, he don't listen. When you go to the toilet, what do you do? Tell him that. Do you use tissue? Tell him on the bike that. I don't want to be rude to you. Don't tell me to be civilized. Tell your Muslim brothers who are interrupting. You've got three Muslim brothers who are interrupting you, and you're telling me to be civilized. Did he ask you a question? Go on, teach them to be civilized. Did he ask you a question? Are you teaching them to be civilized? Funny that, isn't it? He only wanted to tell me to be civilized, but he's not telling these to be civilized. Do you notice? So answer the question. You're asking me if Muhammad is the best example to follow. Yes. In Greenland. It doesn't matter where it is. On the earth. Brilliant. So how do you follow Muhammad's example in Greenland? You follow the Quran and the Sunnah. You follow the Quran and the Sunnah. Right. So, Muhammad, how did he define fasting, the times of fasting? I think that question is really clear. So I'll ask it again. How did Muhammad define the time of fasting? How did Muhammad define the time of fasting? What did he connect it to? It's just how we've been defined for time for prayers. Which is? Which is five times a day. Connected Minimum, to? Man should be worshipping God. Connected to? You worship once a week. Now, what he's avoiding... What are you going to say now? What are you avoiding? Did, it, did God come down as a man? Does he connect it to did the rising of the sun? Sins? Did God die for your sins? Did he they connect it to the question. rising of the sun? Did God the sun die for your sins? So this, ladies and gentlemen, is Takia. I asked him a very simple question. How did he define the timing of fasting? It's connected to the rising and the setting of the sun, and that is the answer that he did not give. Was I right or wrong? The microphone's here. What's the microphone's here? Yeah. They can't hear you. They can't hear you. For your sins. So. Because you're still sinning. Are we able to determine the time of So, sorry, back to fasting. Back to fasting. Why, why, sorry, why don't you want to talk about Muhammad? Why don't you want to talk about what I'm asking you? When you've completed you my... No basis, you have no when, shall we do question do for question? Yeah. Right, really. Let me ask you. Okay. No, no. Did Hold on one second. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. I asked you... We know what he does in the I asked you... Oh, he doesn't want to listen. What a surprise. You're not convincing anyone here. Listen. Everyone can see you not answering the question. Do you want to answer my question? I'm answering the question. Okay, so here's the question. How did Allah, through Muhammad, define the timing of fasting? When you start and when you finish? Through the angel Jibreel. Okay, you're real. Next question. No, one second. Next question. Maybe I didn't explain my question properly. 
So let me. Act. Are you illiterate, my friend? Does everyone else understand my question? Yes, everyone. What is the time that you should Listen. start your fast and what is the time you should finish your fast according to Muhammad? Okay, so according to the Prophet Muhammad, when it comes to fasting, before sunrise and after the sun goes down. Okay, right. So everyone heard that. Before that sunrise, that finally, before sunrise and after sunset, which said? can't be applied in Greenland uh, 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 because, because the sun does not uh, rise uh, and uh, set uh, there on a 24-hour uh, basis. Uh, 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 it rises and sets two times a year, maybe four, sorry, if I'm doing my maths right. Four, which means that Muhammad is not the best example for all people Everywhere. Oh, now your question. No. Right, is that question. the only thing you said? No is that the only thing you said? Wait, sorry. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. Why aren't you lecturing about being civilized? <laughs> no, you that. You Funny you that. Why aren't you lecturing about you being civilized? You put your own wait, wait. Thing. Sorry. Oh, That's I'm sorry. Said. I'm sorry. You said let's be Why civilized. You, so man? you said let's be civilized to Why me. So but no, I noticed that you're not telling him to be civilized. Dude, you know what that means? You know what that means? Is you think you think that a Christian speaking over you is uncivilized, but a Muslim speaking over a Christian is civilized? I am cutting you off because you so, gave an interpretation. He words, said it was civilized. Which isn't true. So, I think Muhammad didn't only say that. So, did he yeah, only say that? that please. Did he guys, only say that? Can I just interrupt two seconds? Please keep it to groups of six, bubbles of six. Oh. It's been monitored this week. If we can't adhere to it and we can't take personal responsibility of what's going on, then I'm Form into it, clusters it of six. Like Form into it. groups of six Can with a distance between you. Please. Right, now I've got Are we able you. to okay. determine the Quran right. in the North Pole? Yes. yes. How do we do that? Who's in the Quran and the Sunnah? Sorry, are you asking you me a question? You have missed out a massive chance. Okay, my question is this. Out one hadith, your question. Oh, What's the question? Anyway, Are you Christian? Is, nonsense, mate. I'm going is that your question? Yes. Yes. Okay, okay, now my turn to ask a question. Oh my God. We said one question for one question. We agreed the rules, stick to the rules. No, I'm fine. I'm so, no, 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 no. You've asked your one question. My now friend. it's my turn to ask a question. You shouldn't have asked a stupid question. So now, in terms of... Brother, in Listen. terms of wait, brother, we're, not we're doing we're doing we're one question brothers. to one question. I asked and answered your brother, question. Make me okay, okay, brother. So in oh enter in God. terms of in terms of in terms of Listen, in terms one of what? right. Did God so die you, for so no no hold on. Well, you've asked Did your question. God now I'm asking you a question, and then you can ask another I question. You, that you can ask that next time. You can ask that next time. Stick to your own rules. Did he die for your You sins? agreed. Be a man of your word. Did he die you for your Be a sins? man of your word. Did he die You're for not a man of your word, are you? Did God die for You're not sins? a man of your word. So, in terms, in terms of, in terms of, in terms of, yeah, yeah, I'm going to ask you a question you and then me. you can ask that question because You're these were the bro. rules that we agreed. You're standing like the far right. You're, Did really? God. So, so, <laughs> that's called, that's desperate, isn't it? I suddenly I'm far right. Yes, you are. I'm far, oh, I'm, I hope he's defining me now. He's defining me, I'm far right, apparently. So, did my question, my follow-up question, my follow-up question. Can you answer me this Yeah, yeah, we did one question did for one God question. He asked a question. So, in answer to the question. Did God die for your sins? In answer to the question. Did God die for your sins? So, in response to the question did that you God asked. Did God die for your sins? Doesn't matter how many times you ask that question. You can't answer me. No, I can. No, you can't. No, I can. You just have to be patient. Mind, you just with your mind, with your amount of education, with your literacy. You're literacy. just be patient. Because you're illiterate. Sure. You're just gonna, you, all you're going to do I'm just going to answer it very quickly. We believe that in the person of Christ, God died for our sins. There, your question has been answered. Sins. Right, so now, so oh wait, wait, sins. now it's my question. No, it's my oh, question. Oh, oh, so there we go. So answer. I answered his second question, but now I can't answer, ask a question to him, despite oh, the fact God. that he agreed question for question. Listen, so now here's my question. Arabic. So now here is my question to right, you. Muhammad, yeah. this salam best salam. example, best example, who's a, can't be followed in, who can't be followed in Greenland, can be followed everywhere around the except world, except in Greenland, everywhere, except in Greenland, everywhere, because Muhammad fasted in 24-hour block periods everywhere. connected to the rising and the setting of the sun, your and that shut. does not apply to Greenland. So let me shut, ask you this brother. question: Why didn't? Why didn't Allah give a more intelligent mechanism for fasting that isn't connected to a localized, contextualized, geographical reality? Brother, I don't get this guy. This guy is analogical. Shall, shall I ask you, shall it's I ask the logic. question again? You know basic logic when oh, you well, speak to someone. Are you avoiding my question? I'm not avoiding no question. So here's my question again. My question is this. Why so here's my question again. God died for your sins? Could Allah Show me where Jesus given. said I am God. Are you not going to answer my question? Show me where Jesus said brother, I am God. Brother, brother. We're not brothers. 
Show Brother, me. answer my question. Is my mum your mum? No, Adam not. and Eve, so we all come from the same ancestors. Stop referring me as so, your brother. We're not brothers. Make me. So, brother. I'm not going to make you. I'm telling uh, okay. you. Uh, well, brother. We ain't brothers. That's fine. Okay, brother, secondly, I think that's obvious. I'm the prettier one. Sins? So, brother, did God die in terms of, in terms of, mate, in terms listen, of, did God die for your sins, in terms of did Allah for your sins? communicating about fasting, yeah. why did he connect the example that the whole of humanity should follow everywhere, like you've reasserted again and again and again, why did he connect that idea of fasting to something that could only be applied in certain geographical areas and not in other geographical areas? Thank you for acknowledging that I'm not telling a lie. And it's not about so go on, brother, what's your answer? So my answer is this. Yes. You, you're a very timing. devoted Christian. Why aren't you telling him to be civilized? <laughs> no, listen, I'm Why aren't you telling him to be civilized? To I'm talking to you. It's funny that, isn't it? Go I'm on. Talking to you. So. Okay, I'm talking to you. Right, okay. In answer to my question. You believe that Jesus Christ is the Lord. Is that an answer to my question? I'm going to come to your question. Okay, fine. Go on. How you carried on. I'm Go on. A, I'm going to tell you now. Yeah. It's my turn. Now. Yeah, if you guys didn't interrupt okay. so much, I would have been quicker. I didn't interrupt. Oh, I'm you did. To, I'm trying to explain. But continue, please. Thank you. Right, so you believe that Jesus is God. That's what you're claiming. You so believe that Jesus is God that he had to come in the form of a man. Right? Let me explain to you what you believe. Guys, you, you believe, need to spread out. You believe that Jesus Spread out. Two meters distance, spread out. Otherwise, they'll close the park. You believe that he came down on earth. I know that. Clusters of six. You're all irresponsible being here. You're all irresponsible. Coming to speak this morning, congregating, you're irresponsible. We're in a cluster of two. That's true as well. I hope they don't get COVID. I hope no one suffers with COVID. Because this is what's going to happen. The second wave will come. And you'll be responsible. But you will also be, be responsible if you're going to keep mixing with us. Oh, don't be silly. You know that. We've got to do a restaurant. You he's doing up. his job. Leave him alone. Protect yourself as well. No, he's doing his job. Leave him alone. I'm doing my job. Thank you. I'm I doing my asthma. job. I don't need to wear it. Okay, well, I just think you're being responsible. Okay. If you've got asthma, why are you standing less than two meters to me? Okay, so I what think I'm you're saying making is... It up. Bye. No more. Done. So what I'm no, saying is... No, no, he's an officer of the law, he's doing his job. Be respectful. Be respectful. I don't care. Salafism. There you go. I don't go. care. So when I'm talking to you and I'm, I'm asking you a question, the question is, you believe that Jesus is God, right? Show me in your text, in your Bible, or in any scripture of the Christian faith where Jesus says, I am Jesus, I am God, worship me. I, test, I, I challenge you in front of all these people, show me where he says, I am Jesus, I am God, worship me. Right. You can't do it. So did anyone hear an answer to you my question? You can't do it. Did anyone hear an answer to my question? Finish. No. So what was my question? Forget your question. You oh, forget my question. my question. Done. Finish. Forget my question. Done. Finish. Done. I'll answer you his question. Tell me. But I just want to advance Jesus my own said, argument. I am God. And notice, I, am God. Worship me. I was quiet I am God. and he is not quiet. No, so, no, he was not quiet. in answer to the question, or let's, let's just advance Show the me. argument. So, this is an evidence to the fact that Muhammad is the most false prophet in history. Wow. Because Muhammad is supposedly, YouTube learners, supposedly, YouTube supposedly YouTube having a direct link to God. And what he reveals is what scholars, God wants you to follow. So, Muhammad connects. The idea of fasting to the idea of the rising and the setting of the sun. And then Muhammad is proclaimed as the best example to all mankind at all times and in all places. Now, ladies and gentlemen, that example cannot be followed by the Eskimos who Allah will to live in the Northern Hemisphere because the sun doesn't rise and set every single day. Which means that we have to conclude that Muhammad didn't know what he was talking about or that Allah doesn't know what he's talking about when he says that Muhammad is the best example. And so this is an evidence that Muhammad 
is a false prophet. But he exists. Because he be if your prophet teaches something you that your that God, God disagrees man, with by, God. by his creation, he it shows that after. the God of creation wasn't talking to the prophet. Oh. No. What should he introduce? Unlike him. Answer my question. Unlike him. Answer my question, big man. I will answer his question answer. even though he didn't answer mine. The real Christians. The real however, Christians. not the fake ones, the real ones. However, show me where Jesus I want to answer me. Before I answer me. his question, show me. Show me. like I'm going to do, You're going I'm to going to leave him with another question. What's that? Which is this. An invisible question. <laughs> if Muhammad if Muhammad was a, oh, in a direct line to God, why does he command Muslims to, to observe fasting in a way that cannot be naturally observed everywhere in the world? That's the question. Now let me answer your question, because unlike you, I am not frightened of the questions that you ask me, you and I am English. willing to answer them. So, so, on point, so the brother have, asked me the question, where does Jesus say that I am God? Worship me. So I'm going to show you in John chapter 5, verse, 30, verse 22. It says this, for not even the Father, this is Jesus speaking, for not Show even the, the Father. Show me the evidence. It's right here. No, where does Jesus it's say? Right here. Jesus writing this. This is Jesus speaking all the way through. No, it's not Jesus speaking. All okay. The way he said. He said. So, Christ said, "For not even the Father judges anyone, but He has given all judgment to the Son." The Bible is very clear. Who is the Son? Who is Jesus. The son? Who is He? So that all will honor the Son even as they honor the Father. Now Muslims agree that the Father is synonymous with God no, and don't. God is synonymous with no, Allah. We don't, we don't believe in so let us read this according that's to that concept. Let's get that Let's get that For not even Allah judges anyone, but he has given all judgment to the Son so that all will honor the Son even as they honor Allah. Okay. Now let me ask my you this turn. question. My turn. My turn. My turn. Let me answer my question. My turn. That's, you just explain. What's my question? My turn. What's my question? I'm going to explain something to you. What's my question? I'll, I'll wait for your question in a minute. Okay, so my question, ladies and gentlemen, is this. Why did Allah not give to this example to the whole of mankind that is applicable everywhere a means to do fasting that everyone can follow? There's the it? question. My answer is, why is it? It doesn't say, my name is Jesus, worship me. Why doesn't it say that? Did Who anyone he hear to? an answer to my question? Who was he praying to? No. Who was Jesus it's getting a bit boring, to? isn't it? It's getting Who a bit was, boring. Who was Jesus praying so, to? So, let's look at this. Let's look at this. can't answer my question. So the brother asks a question We're not brothers. We're not brothers. about we not brothers. Jesus saying, worship him as God. I'm not your brother. It says in the scripture, so that all will honor the Son even as they honor the Father. Who's so the let Father? me ask you this question. Who is the Father? God. Someone's superior than Jesus. Will you honor Someone's Jesus as Jesus. the Father? Will you honor Jesus as the no. Father? Why not? Because Jesus is not God. There you go. If he won't honor Jesus as the Father because no. Jesus isn't God, God. Is when God. Jesus says, Honor him as the Father, he, he is, is saying, I am God, he and he is me. saying, I am worsh he worship is me. So your question has question been answered. Can you even use logic? You don't have logic. Can you even use you don't logic? Have logic? Oh, I do. No, you don't. So let's break this down logically. You don't have logic. Let's break this down logically. You're, you're speaking Come on. so loud, yeah? Come on. And let's break down so, this logically. You're speaking so much You push. have just said. You're speaking so much bullshit. Yeah, of course. Of yeah, course, yeah. That so can't make let's, sense let's of you. break this down logically. Okay, so let me be real. You've with just you. said, you've okay. just said, I cannot honor Jesus like I honor the Father no. because Who Jesus is, the is, is not God. Who is he That's what he said. Who is it good? He That's what he said. 
This man cannot prove to me. I am Jesus. However, people, very simple, Jesus says, Jesus, honor him as you honor the you Father, which makes no Can't sense at all unless no. Jesus is no. God. You Your refusal is you evidence you that this is proof. Is evidence you're illiterate. So now let me ask you another your question. Is that you're illiterate? Let me ask, who's the first and the last? Who's the first and the last of what? The, the or, or eternality. Who's the first and the last? Allah. Allah! There we go. <laughs> Allah is the first and the last. Of course. Je this is Jesus speaking. Behold, I am coming quickly and my reward is with me to render that? to every man according to what right? he has done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. Who's the first and the last again? Allah. Why is Allah stealing the divine titles of Jesus? Why are you stealing our text? Why? Ah! Right. He's saying that we, as, that we as Christians are stealing their text. In other words, he is acknowledging that the text proclaims Your Jesus as deity. Changed. Your books have been changed. Like the Quran. There's holes in the Quran. Evidence where Quran has been changed. I challenge you. Is I that does you. I will not leave here. Hafs, Bosh and Dori. I'll bring you ten people that know the Quran. Hafs. Are you listening? People. You cannot bring me one person that knows Which do they know? Do they know the Hafs, the Wash or the Dori? You cannot bring Why Which you Quran? About? What are you talking about? Which Quran? There's no verses of bro, that. Bro, bro, you know you've you already been exposed as duplicitous exposed and insincere. Of what? You can't expose Because you're me, insincere. Even if you had a hundred Is the Hafs the Quran? Sorry? Is the Hafs the Quran? Hafs of Quran know the Quran. Yes. Is the Wash the Quran? What's the Wash? It's a, a recitation of a Quran. There's no such thing as that in Islam. What are you talking so, about? So, so he's playing the same kind of duplicitous <laughs> trick. So this man, is the Hafs Quran, the Wash Quran, and the Duri Quran use different words. But yet Muslims say that they're all the same. If they have different words... It gives me permission to answer this question. Go on then. So, Hafs Quran, Wash Quran, Duri Quran. Do they use the same words all the time? You're lying. You are lying. You're lying. Show me evidence. You're lying. Show me evidence. Brother, you acknowledge that there was a Hafs Quran. You acknowledge that there was a Wash Quran. No, do you know what Hafs means? That's what you said. Do you know what Hafs means? It's a recitation of the Quran. No, it's not. Oh, it's not? No, it's not. What is it then? No, it's not. What is it? You're illiterate. What is it? Hafs of Quran, ladies and gentlemen. No, not half is. No, half. Half, not half is. I didn't say half is. I said half. Wash and Dori. Not half is. He's hearing what he wants to hear. On purpose, Brother, he knows sister. I would answer. Sister, I would answer. no, I know he knows I'm gonna answer him. That's why he ignores me. Thank you so much. He ignores me before. He ignored me before. Not another stupid Muslim in front of us. Ask him. So now, uh, ask him. Uh, yeah, ask him. I become yeah. Christian today on camera. Well, 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 Show well, me a verse yeah, 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 where Jesus yeah, yeah, yeah. says, "I am Jesus." Worship me alone. We I'm are God. Muslim must be Sales smart. techniques, he cannot, We must be smart. He cannot become Hindu, man. You give me permission. Let me answer him. This guy. This guy. How do you know what I love? He's just a butt hurt. Okay, you're talking about half swars. Man, you are literate. You are, yeah, you got pity on yourself. Thought you, you said bullied. be civilized. You seem bullied. You invited this guy in and then you I can't was, even be civilized to let him speak. One minute. And you I were lecturing me about civilization. Had a stupid Muslim come interrupted us and you liked it. You ignored me and you paid attention to him, to another stupid yeah. Muslim. Now answer now this I, question. Now I, I asked for permission for him. Even a Muslim is calling you stupid. It's not just me. Is it you that, brother, can you clarify something? Can you clarify something to this idiot? Yeah, this illiterate individual. That's in speaker's corner trying to get fame. This man just claimed that you called me stupid. No, because you interrupted me so, so many. <laughs> so that was a yes, by the way. So let me say that was a yes, by the way. Let me, let me say something. Everyone's laughing There's at you guys. He ignored me because he likes it. He likes this. I'll but just let them argue amongst themselves. And whilst they're arguing amongst themselves, ladies and gentlemen, I just want to talk about the text of the Bible. Because the brother no, 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 said, no, 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 oh, okay, okay, and then I'll respond no, no, to his no, point. Go on. You ask him a question. Yeah. Talk to me, or I start talking. Yeah, no, no, okay. You ask about half wash and dory. Yes. I'm happily, willing, happily to answer a question. If you carry, if we carry on with the same question I, I did ask you about the version of Bible. No, I'm not accepting any no. conditions. You I came into this conversation. I was asking you which version of the Bible is truly word of God. Is it Protestant, Catholic, Russian Orthodox, Egyptian Orthodox, King James? Thousands of versions according to your scholars, different. You said the translation. We are not that idiot. 
Yes, there are six, six, six books, six, six books in Protestant. And the Catholic civil Are you going to answer the question about the half the wash no, and the dory? Okay, so the brother is not going to answer the question. And the question, ladies and gentlemen, is about the fact that there are different Qurans. The Hafs Quran, the Wash Quran, the Duri Quran. These Qurans use different words. They use different words because they are not the same texts. And the brother doesn't answer the question. They demand that we answer questions but they don't answer them. They demand that we listen, but they don't listen themselves. They ask questions, but they don't answer. Let me be clear. Well, I'm asking you. Let me be clear. You believe the Bible is What do we Christians believe about the Bible? He's answering me. The now Bible. The Bible. What we believe about the Bible is not I'm what Muslims I'm believe I'm about their Quran. Visit my surgery to what we care. believe Bring about the Bible oh, is, is not the same about what Muslims believe about the I Quran. Our beliefs I know that. about the really? Bible are different to what Muslims believe about their Quran. Muslims believe that their Quran is literally the words of Allah. If you interrupt, I've just raised my voice. They believe that they believe, they believe, they believe that the Quran is literally the words of Allah. Christians do not have the same belief. I'm inviting you to a better religion than Islam or Muslims. Our religion makes sense. If you say that the Quran is literally the words of Allah, then you have problems. Lots and lots of problems. You have problems because the texts of the Quran have been changed. Look at the example of Dr. Brubaker, a man who has studied the earliest copies of the Quran. Look at the studies of Keith E. Small, who has looked at the earliest copies of the Quran and he has found, they have found independently from one another that the text of the Quran has changed over time. The text of the Quran is different. The Muslims take their camera away because they don't want Muslims to hear. Now, ladies and gentlemen, so we Christians believe and get this, listen to this because it's really important. Our doctrines, what we believe, existed before the Bible, which means that <clears throat> differences in translation, textual variants, issues of canon difference are important questions, but they are not fundamental questions. The belief that Christ is God, that he rose from the dead, all existed before the Gospels were written. The Gospels were written because people believe these things, not, be not because of the Gospels, which means that textual variants, canon differences, do not compromise these doctrines. I challenge any Muslim to produce the, anywhere in the four Gospels that teaches that Christ was not divine. I challenge any Muslim that show me in the Gospels where it teaches that Christ was not crucified. None of our beliefs are affected by the kinds of criticisms that Muslims make about the Bible. But now let us reverse their criticisms and apply them to their Quran. Muslims say that if a book is changed, it's not from God. Well, the evidence demonstrates that the Quranic texts have been changed. They have been changed. They are not the same. And these, ladies and gentlemen, are not my words. These are the words of scholars. Let me give you them. 
Great question. Let me answer that question. Scholars, he wants the scholars' names. Here they are. Dr. Daniel Brubaker, his YouTube channel, his YouTube channel, you can find it on YouTube, evidences changes in the texts of the Quran. Dr. Yasser Qadi says that there are holes in the standard narrative about how the Quran came to us. Dr. Keithy e. Small says that the Quran has changed over time. And it's not just these. Pro Dr. Professor Thomas of Birmingham University, when he looked at the oldest fragment of the Quran that we have, these are his words. The fragment, the discovery of the fragment, supports the view that the Quran was written down at an early stage in a form that was very close to the Quran we have. Now tell me, do the words very close mean exactly the same? What is the difference between very close and a perfect copy? Those words are huge. This is talking about the oldest fragment of the Quran and this is the scholar who is entrusted with its preservation and study. In Birmingham University, you can see it for yourselves. He goes on to say, There has been a debate for a long time among non-Islamic academic scholars about the history of the Quran and whether it was complete by the time of the death of Muhammad or whether it continued to be added to and slightly changed to meet the community's needs for possibly 100 years after his death. But the fact that these two folios, listen, are not identical but are very close to the Quran as it is found published today would support the view the Quran was collected together substantially in the form as we recognize it now. In other words, what he is saying is the Quran is very close but it is not a match to what we have today. And he's doing that based upon the earliest text of the Quran. And this is an argument supported by Dr. Brew Baker, Dr. Keithy e. Small, Dr. Thomas of Birmingham University, and most latterly made famous by none other than Mohammed Hijab, who stood right over there, one Dr. Yasser Qadi, who said in response to the question, if I gave you a blank book, could you write down what Muhammad revealed? Dr. Yasser Qadi said, it's not that simple, Aki. There are holes in the narrative. Are those scholars Christians or Muslims? Dr. Yasser Qadi is a Muslim. Dr. Keithy e. Small is a Christian. Dr. Daniel Brubaker is a Christian. Professor Thomas is an atheist. So independently of one another and coming from different ideologies, they're all saying the same thing. The Qurans are not identical. So in answer to that question, bro, there are many Bibles. There are many Bibles. Catholic, Protestant, Orthodox. One second, one second, because that's an assumption that's false. There are three canons of scripture accepted by Christians. How many different Qurans are there? Ten. I'm not a Muslim, I'm just there are ten. I'm telling you, there's ten. Okay, bro, you're getting a bit. You're getting so a we've, got, we've got you're three. Heated, we've got three. Because some, some people don't listen. Some people don't listen. So, how many, how many Qurans do we have, bro? I don't know. I've just told you. You see, you weren't listening. What's the point, bro? 
Bro, I'm not interested in this kind of ad, ad hominem. Deal with the argument. I'm not interested in you either, Giza. And yet you're stood here listening to me and arguing with me. I've been here before and yet you, you are before. and yet you are I've stood here, here listening to me and arguing Giza. with me. I've been here before you were even born. So, bro. Let's come to the Bible Quran issue. Because that's what you led on. That's fine, I'll come to that. I will. I will come to that. Brilliant. I will come to that. I will come to that. So Muslims have 10 variants of their Quran. We Christians have three canons of our Bible. Now, the reality is, the reality is, we Christians view our Bibles in a way that is much more consistent to how Muslims look at their hadiths. And how many hadiths are there? That's translation, 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 translation. How many translations of the Quran are there? In English alone, there's 106. Okay. So, so, wouldn't you so, wouldn't you assume such a thing if there's if if the Quran, the mother language it's written in, is Arabic? Wouldn't there be many translations if it's if it's? And how does that logic not apply to Greek and Hebrew? No, of course it does. So there you go then. So you're not making a point then, are you? You're not making a point. What point did I make? You're saying you don't even know what yeah, point yeah, I made. You said that there were three versions exactly. of the Bible. Which ones could you tell us? Three canons, Sorry, three canons of the Bible. According to your See, I'm using I'm using very so. specific language. Could you please tell us. He's please. using very clumsy language. No. He's no. mixing canon Allow and don't version do and abdomen textual abdomen. variant as if they're the don't same thing. Canon, textual variant and version are referring to three very discrete things. When you say the word version, you're talking about translation. And if we're saying that there's lots of translations of the Bible, ooh, we can't trust the Bible. Well, there's lots of translations of the Quran, so ooh, we can't trust the Quran. But he won't accept that logic. No. Would you consider the John Tyndall Bible a version or a different? It's a translation, so it's a version. It's a version. Yeah. Which, would you accept it or you would reject it? So the John, the, the, Tyndale, yeah, the Tyndale translation, is both a translation and a canon. So it's a translation in that it is John Tyndale's translation. It's a canon because it follows the Lutheran canon, the Reformation canon, so it has 66 books. Yeah, okay. However, we Christians, for us, this is not an attack on our faith. Muslims think that they're attacking our faith when they say this. This is not an attack on our faith. Every Christian, you're listening? Every Christian, I'm, I'm not Christian agrees, Muslim, so every Christian, ag I thought you said you weren't a Muslim. I, that's what I said. Oh, sorry, I misheard you. So, Muslim, fair enough. Christian. So, Christians agree upon the 27 books of the New Testament unanimously. No Christians disagree about the 27 books of the New Testament. Muslims disagree with their hadiths but, but there's, massively. There's a problem. But I know with the Catholic, they have more books than in the, the Old Catholic. Testament. Yes, it's called the Deuterio Canonical Books. Now. How does that work out? Is that like, are they doing something wrong or are they doing something right? Because I'm trying to understand why is it that sure. the Protestant has less possible yeah. So Luther, Luther believed that you shouldn't use the Deuterio canonical books as scripture. But this is the thing that everyone forgets or doesn't know, is Luther was happy to read the Deuterio canonical books. So was John Calvin, so was Zwingli. In fact, Luther, John Calvin and Zwingli encouraged people to read the Deuterio canonical books. But they encouraged them to read their books. One, one second. Yeah, they encouraged them to read these books in the same way that I might encourage someone to read the writings of C.S. Lewis. So they considered them to be good books to read. By contrast, Muslims furiously fight about their differences in hadiths because depending on which hadiths you believe in, your Islam changes considerably between Shia and Sunni. Yeah, that, that's fine, but so we Christ the so the point is, anything, so the point is, we Christians have more agreement about our books the Muslims have about their books. Do they argue about the okay, different can, can Qurans you? that you claimed? You said that there were different Qurans. Do, they, do the Muslims argue about those different Qurans? So, in terms of the, in terms of the different recitations okay. of the Quran, most Muslims don't even know that there are different Qurans. They're still walking around saying there's only one Quran. They don't, most Muslims don't know that there's different texts of the Quran in print 
today. Sorry, that's but wrong. do those different Qurans teach a different religion? No. I'm not going to argue that because the evidence wouldn't support that. Let me ask you a question. Go on. Do the translational differences in the different Bibles, do they relate to, to um, semantical differences, yes or no? In some instances... Let, let me give you an example. I, I don't know a specific scriptural example. I'm not coming from a scriptural point of view. I don't read the... I've never read the Bible. I've never read the Quran. Let me make that... You can't read the Quran unless you can read Arabic. I could read a translation, but yeah. But that's not the Quran, though, is it? All right, fair enough. But what I'm saying to you is So you this. can't read the Quran, right? Not in its original format, no. But you can't, no, no, hold on. Muslims, Mus Muslims Arabic, say that you... I can't read it in its original format, and this is translations. This is one of the reasons why I reject Islam, because we yeah, believe that our... Can you read the Bible in its original what? format, yes or no? Well, one second. Can you read the we don't Bible need to. in its original format? We don't need to. Why not? Why not? Because, let me answer no, that question. What you just said oh, is right. nonsensical. No, it is a nonsensical. Let me ask, let we me don't need to. Let me answer you. We don't know, brother. Listen. No, brother. Brother, if you're just going to talk, if you're going to ask questions and not talk, then all the ends up happening is that I have to raise my voice. That's what you've been you doing. asked a question. Bro, the question bro. was, you can preach the you question want. was, Lower what you can you do? Tap. Can you read? Can you read the Bible in its original languages? And I said to the brother, you don't have to. The reason why is because as Christians, what we believe is that it is the message that God is communicating with, not the words. Muslims, by contrast, believe that God is speaking in the very words of the Quran. And so you can't read the Quran in English, but you can read the Bible in English because the message can be faithfully translated. You said, to me, you said to me that the different Qurans, they still have the same message. Yes. So if the different Qurans still have the same message, then there's no problem. Then. Right, no, so let me, let me address that point. You're absolutely right. If we restrict the idea of, well, does all these different 10 Qurans deliver the same message, then you're right. There's no problem at all, except that Muslims don't stop there. Oh, what what Muslims ridiculous. say about the Quran is bro, that they well, say that you. the Quran has never been bro. changed. If you translate that the Bible, all the Qurans bro, throughout the whole of history you know listen, have bro. all been the same everywhere. And he's saying that's true, so I'm not lying. Talking, he's agreeing, I'm not lying. Yes. Yes. But when the evidence contradicts that, that's when the problems start. So a fundamental doctrine of Islam contradicts the evidence. By contrast, we Christians say that the message is what God communicates, and so that is why it can be translated, which is why you don't need to be able to read the words of the original language. Muslims, by contrast, say that God speaks the words. You can't tell me my religion, bro. You just said you I haven't mean, read the Bible. Can I, can I speak? You, do, that's fine, that's are you a fine. scholar of Christianity? No. Right, so you're no, telling me what... To be. Right, so... But am I allowed to speak? So go on, Regardless go on. of the fact that I'm not a scholar tell, of tell me why it's nonsense. am I allowed to speak? Yeah, of course you can. First and foremost, you're measuring the veracity of your religion against the standard of another religion. No, you've not followed my argument. I have followed your argument completely. No, you Please haven't. Please don't interject until I'm finished. You haven't That's followed my argument. That's my first argument. point. The second point is this. Does and by the way, you were interjecting when I was speaking. Of course, because so I was making a point. So you can't you complain now, can you? The heavens, like blah, because blah, blah. you was interru you, you asked a question and then you bro, interrupted you've the answer. Been preaching. But now you when don't I like it when someone's no, doing no, no. it to you. It's weird. Bro, I see this all the time. Every day, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So Only those that interrupt me, bro. Brother, anyway, listen. Let me just say my point. My point is this. Go on. Does does a does a translational change relate to a semantical change? Let me qualify that question. When you change the language from Hebrew to Aramaic to Greek to Latin to English just because you say it's a translation does that mean that there's not a change in the meaning there if you translate from Greek to Hebrew there is a change in the meaning there you can't try and overlook this and say there's no change in the meaning it's a direct translation some words in certain languages they can't be directly translated that's, 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 that's so how can you say that yeah. one version of the bible is the same as another if it's in a totally different language and the words have different meanings so now shall i reply so your argument that so you're shall posing I reply now? towards the quran it's it's applicable towards the Sh bible shall, as shall well. i reply you're like you're chasing you're chasing so, your shall i reply bro. shall i reply so yeah. now let's see if you'll actually listen to the reply so the the reason why your argument doesn't stack up is because 
you, you've stated a truth, and that truth is that some words can't be translated directly. So one example of that is someone who's bilingual. I know Spanish, I know English. The word amiga or the word amigo can't be translated directly. And the reason why it can't be translated directly is because amigo and amiga are gender specific. We, can't, we don't use language in that way. So when you encounter words that can't be translated directly, like amigo or amiga, you use more words. So we would say to translate amigo, we would say, if we translated it as closely as we can, we would say boyfriend or girlfriend. But we've got another problem. Boyfriend or girlfriend in English has a cultural aspect to it, which is that if I say boyfriend or girlfriend, I'm speaking of someone that I'm in an intimate relationship with, not someone who is my friend who is a boy or my a friend who is a girl. Yes. So what we have to do when we translate amiga or amigo into English is we invert the words. We don't say boyfriend, we say friend who's a boy or fr a male friend or a okay. female friend. Okay. To avoid the cultural reference, which if we back translate girlfriend, boyfriend into Spanish would be translated as novio or novia. So I've just given you a perfect, a, a very clear example of translation in two languages that I'm fluent in. You've made my own point. One bro. second, one You've second. Made my point. You're interrupting, and this is why I have to I raise my voice. You You're speak. interrupting you right speak. now. I let let me finish point. my point. Bro, listen, let me finish my like point. Converse, Sadly, goodbye. Yes, goodbye. Nice so, let me finish my point. The brother is saying wrongly that we can apply the argument back to the Bible. But Christians believe about the Bible something different that Muslims believe about their Quran. And this is where his logic falls down. Because Muslims believe that every word of the Quran is literally the words of Allah. So you can't translate that. But Christians believe about the Bible that these are the words of men inspired by God to give the message of God. And so it can be translated. The message can be translated. And so my criticism is valid when it is applied to the Quran, but invalid when it is applied to the Bible because we don't believe the same things about these books. Okay, Kar Kar, let's yeah. to you. First of all, in Arabic, Arabic is my language. In Arabic, you cannot translate the word exactly as in, in other language. Which right? is the point I made. Yeah, yeah, but you, we, could, we can explain it to you, but you cannot translate it exactly word by word. Yeah. It would be different. That's exactly what I said. Okay. No, no. You tried to say... What did I say? Okay. You tried to say the Muslims, they say... That the Quran can't be translated. The Quran coming in Arabic, right? Yes. You cannot translate it to other languages. That's what I said. Yeah, it's wrong. The Muslims who did say Oh, that. so it can be translated? No. Yes, of course it can be translated. So is... There the, is, is so many Muslims. So is the... 1.7 billion. More than one, more than one billion. Is an English Quran a Quran? Arabic. Is an English Quran the word of Allah? What is what? Is an English Quran... Yeah. The word is of Allah. Yes, of course. But so it, you're it so it. you're arguing mm. that an English translation yeah. is the same as the Arabic Quran. Yes. Okay, you're unique. Yeah. Most Muslims I've met would because, never argue that position. Because, my, Fair enough. Because that's what my you believe. Point, my point. Some verses, if you try to translate it in English, it will change the difference. Say, example like. So an English translation therefore can't be the same as the Arabic Quran. Yeah. If if if. Yeah. What you're saying is true. If you're saying that some verses can't be translated, then no English translation of the Quran is equal in its authority and validity to the Arabic. Right, okay. Is that, are we agreed? Yeah, we agreed. So we that's agreed. my point. No, no, okay. What you said at the beginning, what you said, you said it cannot be translated 100%, like 100%. That's what Muslims say. No. Go and speak to Muhammad Hijab. He'll no, no, say that. No, no. It's not 100%. Some words, some verses, you cannot translate it in English to understand it. Say example like, hit the woman. I heard that from someone. He said, Quran it says to hit the woman. It does. That, that's the translation, strike. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's, that's in, in Arabic, you, Someone translated it means, hit. In, in Arabic, hit. Yeah. But it doesn't mean, hit. It doesn't mean to hit. So hit doesn't mean hit. Yeah, 
heat, heat, heat in English it means heat, but heat in, in Arabic, in that, in, in that aspect, exactly, in that verse, it doesn't mean to be dead. What does it mean? Yeah. What does it mean? It means, it mean, mean, uh, it's a bit, it's a bit uh, very complex. Tap them. Oh, wow. No, it doesn't, it doesn't mean that at all. Yeah. It doesn't mean that at all. This is just a Muslim apologetic. <laughs> this is just a Muslim apologetic. Brother, with respect, with respect, there are lots of Muslims that would disagree with what you've just said in this park. So. Yeah, so. but just, there are. I believe misunderstanding. Uh, they would say that the uh, Arabic, the Quran only exists in Arabic. Uh, only exists in Arabic? Yeah. Of course, in English as well. So, do you believe so that the Quran mean, can exist in English? Yes, of course. In Chinese. Uh, in Chinese. In Sorry? Indonesian. Yeah, but, but so, so, is an English translation of the Quran yes. the same as... It, it is the Word of God. It is... Yeah. That is the yeah, Word of God. Yeah. So what you're saying is, the translation of the Qur'an, I want to be clear about this. You're now saying, because Muslims have not been saying this until literally, this is, this is, the, this is the first time I've heard two Muslims make this argument, ever. I've been here for four years, and this is the first time I've ever heard Muslims make this argument. So you're both saying, right, despite the fact that I have countless recordings of Muslims saying exactly the opposite, but you're both saying that the Qur'an exists in English. Okay, right, brilliant. So in English as well. So when so why does the Quran say so why does the Quran say that this is a book of pure guidance, a perfect Arabic book? Does it say that? There is, yeah. Does it say that? Does the Quran describe itself as an Arabic book? Does the Quran describe itself as an Arabic no, no, book? No, no, no. Let, 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 let's make it clear. It's not Arabic book. Let me. No, no. I don't. In look, Arabic language. I want you to answer the it, question. It, 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 Does the Quran it's describe not, itself as existing in Arabic? Exists in Arabic and exists in no. You see, you're still not answering the question. When can I meet an honest Muslim? Yeah. Does the Quran describe itself as being Arabic? Yes. Yeah. yes. Did Sue said yes? Yeah. Yes. Do you agree? No, no, hold on, hold on. Does the Quran describe no, itself? Arabic, uh, well, I'm asking you a question. No, no, you're talking. Okay. It's being Arabic. What does it mean in your understanding? Does it describe what itself? Does it oh my gosh! I can't believe I got to what do this. What does it mean in your understanding? I wish you'd just answer the question. No, no, It'd be no, so no. much quicker. Now I've got no, to go on Google and everything. I'm no, trying to make it easier for you. Believe me. I, I believe it's misunderstanding. Everyone here. Does the Quran say, say exists in Arabic? Yeah, it says the Quran. It, it came in Arabic language. It came in Arabic Sorry? language. Sorry. It was. It was very simple because the Holy Quran was revealed. In Arabic language. Does it describe itself as existing in Arabic? Okay. In right. Arabic language. So brilliant. So the Quran describes itself as being in Arabic, and these Muslims are saying that it exists in English. No, no, no. It says that. Arabic, but it's oh, so it is in Arabic. Is the translation the Quran? Translation no, no. Arabic and to English. Translation. This brother says no. This brother says yes. Okay. Translation so who's right? Of okay. Arabic and to English. So is the translation of the Quran? English people would understand. The Quran revealed in Arabic language, as this gentleman he said to you, revealed at the beginning in Arabic language in Arabic land. He said it wasn't. He said a translation is not the Quran. Yeah, that's at the beginning. Are you a Muslim, sir? Yeah. Yeah, it depends, on the, it, it okay. depends on the day. Fair enough. Okay. <laughs> the, the Quran, everyone in China, Malaysia, they all they, they read it in their own language. No, right? they don't. They learn yeah. it in Arabic. No, no. When you pray, yeah, no, you have to recite the Quran, right? Yeah. Huh? Do you recite it in English or no, in Arabic? In Arabic. In there Arabic. you go. To recite it in Arabic. Listen, brother. To recite in Arabic, but to understand it for someone who doesn't listen. speak a language. One second, gonna, brother. I'm going. I'm going. going to brother, brother, brother. Listen, 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 listen to your Quran. It says, when the Quran is being recited, pay heed that thou may obtain mercy. I'm reciting the Quran. Listen, listen. This is what the Quran says. A book. Did you hear that? Kitab. A book. A book whose signs have been distinguished as an Arabic Quran. We don't have That's what it says. So, when you're trying to say that the Quran exists in English, the Quran is saying you're wrong. No, 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 no. he's right, again. he's Quran, right. Uh, Even Yahya's agreeing with me. Right. That doesn't happen every day. He's right, he's right. The Quran, the Arabic Quran, translated into English for a speaker, uh, the English speaker, is not the Quran. That's what I say. It's not the Quran. The Quran, the Quran, the Quran, the Quran, the Quran 
at the beginning. In Arabic. In Arabic uh, it is in Arabic. Brilliant. But it's, 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 it's not for Arab. Can I ask, are you an Arab? For everyone. Are you an Arab? My first language, fluently. No, 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 that, that's not my question. Yeah, you said I said, I'm Arab. are you an Arab? Oh, am I an Arab? Oh, all right, okay. Are you an Arab? Does, you, does your ancestors come from Saudi Arabia? No. No, where, where are your ancestors okay, from? Okay, my, my ancestors, Nubian. Nubian. Nubian, we are the, we are the oldest civilization. Right, so let me explain. Yourself and everybody I want to explain something. Coming from Nubian. Brilliant. Uh, Brilliant. Yeah. I want to. I want to. I want to say something to you because you know it, some good news uh, recently occurred. Okay, uh, the Sudanese government has decided that it is no longer an Islamic republic, which demonstrates that if you resist Islam strong enough, like the Christians of Sudan have, Islamization can be overturned. Perfect. That is the wonderful news that came out this week. A Muslim, a Muslim country decided of their own volition that they don't want to be governed by Sharia. That's, right. That's what just happened in Sudan this week. So if you fight Sharia law, you can overturn Sharia law. The Sudanese Christians are an example to us all. So let me just say this, because this is one of the reasons why I reject Islam, sir. Because here is a Nubian who should be proud of his heritage, his identity and his ancestry, but when he prays to his God, he has to use the language of a foreign people. What's your name, sir? He's not foreign people. What's your name, if you don't mind me asking? Isham. 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 Is that an Arabic name? It is Arabic name, yes. It's an Arabic name. So here's a Nubian who worships his God in Arabic and has taken an Arab name. Who's the best example to all mankind? Okay. It's very complicated. Who's the best example? Uh, Muhammad. Muhammad. Right. Okay. So here's a Nubian saying that the best example to all mankind okay. is an Arab. When you bow down in prayer, which city do you face? Uh, listen, first of all, Mecca yeah, yeah. is the answer. No, no, yeah, I answer Mecca. Okay, yeah, okay. Let, let me say something. There is misunderstanding all your statement. Am I wrong? Because, yeah, you have a misunderstanding. What did I misunderstand? First, first of all, the Nubian, the, the oldest civilization for human beings, where the mankind, they say, is started from the Nubian. You so are, why are you, you Arabizing? No, we are not. You've got an Arabic name? No. That's you worship God in Arabic? The Nubian you bow down to an Arab city? Okay, can I say you copy an Arab as the best man no, in history? We are, we are not. How is that not Arabization? We are, not. We are the first. The Nubian first, they are copying us. Oh, so copying Muhammad them. was copying some Nubians? Muhammad, yes, of course. Yeah. But you Nubians had Tarseti, yeah. Nubia. Incredible. That was not Islam. The brothers just said that yeah, Muhammad was copying yeah, Nubians. Yeah, yeah. You were Nubians, like yeah, Nubians. Egyptians. Yeah. But let me, brother, let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. We Christians, we have this idea of the Agios, the holies, the saints, right? And we adore, we honor saints from every people, every tribe and every tongue who have walked in the way of Christ. There are Nubian saints who have walked in the way of Christ. Christians, when we follow Jesus Christ, we don't start speaking in Aramaic. We don't necessarily take on Aramaic names. We don't bow down to an Aramaic city. Why? Because Christianity does not put one people above another people. It says that the best way to be French is to be a French Christian. The best way to be British is to be a British Christian. The best way to be a Nubian is to be a Nubian Christian. That means that you take from your culture, Nubia, and you filter out from it that which contradicts the Christian faith and elevates all that is noble within your culture. By contrast, Islam tells you that the most noblest man was an Arab Bedouin. And therefore, what it's telling you implicitly is that the noblest culture is the culture of an Arab Bedouin. So it is placing Arabs above you, me as an Anglo-Saxon, this brother, I don't know what you are, this brother, I don't know what you are. It's saying that the Arabs are better than all of us. And you prove it because you worship God in Arabic, you follow the example of an Arab man, you take an Arab name. Okay, can I explain to you, first of all, as I said, the, the Islam come in uh, Arabic uh, language, right? In the in Arabic land, which is uh, uh, the Desert Arabia. Yes. Yeah? That's, that's Islam. We are not Can you bring the verse back? 
we are not covering them, we are not uh, dis, dis, uh, what do you call it? disrespecting our culture or our roots. So you no, don't copy Muhammad? No, we're not copying Muhammad. We copy Muhammad as his... So you do copy Muhammad? We copy Muhammad for his, his, his behavior, his, Brilliant. his ethics, his morals. Not we copy him because he's Arab. So let me, let me address this point. Let me address this point. So you're saying that you copy Muhammad because of his ethics and his morals, not because he is an Arab. But here's the problem. Here's the problem, right? When Muslims copy Muhammad, they don't just copy his ethical principles. That, let, let me explain, I'm going to explain. This is the way that Christians copy Christ. We copy Christ's ethical principles, so we try to be like Christ in what we do. But Muslims, Muslims, yes I try, yes I try. But Muslims, they don't just copy. They don't just copy Muhammad's ethical principles, which are very dubious, by the way. Well, let me finish, I'm going to. They also, they also copy his language in prayer, which you do. Yes, so there you go. So it's not just his ethical principles. You're copying even the very language that he talks to God in, as if God can't understand English. One second, one second. One second, one second. One second. Whose language? God's language. God's language. Ah, you've proved my point, sir. Brilliant. So brilliant. So you've proven my point. You've proven my point. You've just said, you've just said, what's wrong with copying? What's wrong with copying Muhammad? Yeah, in the language that he uses to speak to God in, because that was the language God spoke to him in. Here's the problem with that. Here's the problem with that. Here is the problem with that. That is not just copying his ethics. That is copying something far more than his ethics. You're essentially saying that the best language to speak to God in is Arabic. No, it's wrong. You, you, it's wrong. you prefer okay. Hebrew? No, 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 There must be, there must be a language. There must be 1400 years, years of Islamic slavery, bro. Go check it out. No one told you the first language is Arabic, first of all. We have abolished slavery. Muslims are still practicing it. If you want to buy, do they enslave, do they enslave people in Sudan? Don't open the subject. Do they enslave people in Sudan? Uh, God. Yes, uh, thank you. You want to go buy a black slave, go to an Islamic slave market. Go to an Islamic slave market. In which cultures? Islamic ones. So go on, bro. So as part of your... Okay, yes, go on, uncle. But we're, we're, copying, we're not copying yeah, him. But this, is, this is my language. Arab is my language. And Prophet Muhammad's language. Did Nubians speak Arabic before the Islamic conquest of Nubia? I don't know what they speak. Oh, but come on, but sorry. Uh, you know, you know in Sudan, you know the Nuer and the Dinka, they have their own language. They have their own languages. Yes, exactly. And they're Nubian as right, right? No, the, the, the Nubians, they have their own language. It's not Arabic. It's not Arabic, yeah. It's not Arabic, yeah. Thank you. Uh, He's telling you again. Okay. The Quran. Arabic, yeah. So, right, one second. Okay, no. So, why, if Islam doesn't equal Arabization, do your people, at least those that have embraced Islam, because none of the Christians do this, because we Christians don't do this. That's why you have One second. Let me ask you. Let me ask you this question. Yeah. Stay with me, Uncle. Ignore this uncivilized man. So, Uncle, if Islam doesn't equal Arabization. Why are you claiming as a language, as your own, something that isn't your people's language? It's them two million of their lives because, because they did not want to be Arabized. Is that true? No, no, it's not true. He's from Sudan. I'll tell you why we have, why we have that conflict. Why? Because your people. Oh, it's, it's the Europeans' it's fault. The Western people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's America, our fault. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The British. Okay. It's got nothing to do with Sudan declaring itself an Islamic Republic and seeking to impose Islam on the South. The problem is, is still involving with our conflict. The whole African, Indian, Arabs, the prophet is still involving. You, the you prophet teach that, that we all mankind are like that. We have yeah. this yeah. conflict. We have, we have the prophet 
teach on, uncle. Yes. that all mankind I'm talking are to like, this uncle. Yeah, and I'm talking yeah, yeah. to you. Yeah, 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 yeah. uncle, yes. stick with me, stick with me. Okay. Yeah, because stick with I think, because I, he does I think, like to talk I think, to me. I think, I think, he, he likes to talk to somebody, I think, uncle, to the great people. I think, uncle, yeah. Yeah. that you, that no, 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 I think, uncle, like to, to listen. I will, I will because he will try to establish Uncle, 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 it's a sign of respect, it's a sign of respect. He's older than me, I call him uncle, it's a sign of respect. Call me uncle as well, I'm older than you. Yes, uncle. <laughs> so, so, uncle, like you embody to me in your very person a reason why I should reject Islam. Because as an Englishman, I believe as a Christian that God can speak to me in my own language, can hear my prayers in my own language, that I can use the names of my own culture, that I can use the language of my own culture, that I don't have to copy the dress of a seventh century, a first century Palestinian, that I don't, that I don't, that I don't have to copy the eating habits of a first century Palestinian. But as a Muslim, you believe that you have to copy the eating habits, see, see always, you have the, 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 the dress. First of all, I, I, no, I never mentioned the dress. I never mentioned the way we eat. Okay. You don't have to do well, that. You know the long white gown. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, the, like the message yes, of Islam. Yes, here you are. Here you are. Yes. The message of Islam. Yeah. All of them. Ahi, ahi. Go the message of Islam to bring unity and people are worshipping one Lord. Except it does none of those Jesus things. Jesus the Lord our God is one. It doesn't do this any of those things. Regarding it Jesus, divides people, Jesus, it causes conflict, Jesus, causes war. Jesus, peace Islam. upon him. No, 1400 Lord, years of war, Islam. bloodshed and slavery. That's no, Islamic history. You don't like to hear no, about what I'm saying. Because I'm talking to him and you're trying to force yourself into a conversation. No, he's sorry, he's not. talk he's to not. him. I'm trying to. The, the, listen, uh, the first world war, right? Is it, is it is it committed by Muslims? No, it was a, it was a, it was a nationalistic war. How many war, yeah. millions died? Yes. Are they Muslims? No. Well, some of them were. The Albanians sided with the Nazis. No, hold on. Bro, bro, you had bro. you had the SS Hansha. They the, were, the, they were the Muslim Muslims Nazis. of Europe yes, sided with the Nazis. Tell you what. The Mufti of Jerusalem. Yeah. The Muslims of Europe yeah. sided so with the Nazis brother, in World War II. Uh, ISIS, Fact. If you say about ISIS. The SS had a division oh. just for Albanian Muslims. Who is SS? ISIS. The SS, the Waffen SS, were the blood ISIS. cult of the Nazis. They are the ones that killed the Jews. The, SS Hanshar. Oh. the 13th Waffen Mounted Division of the SS Hanshaw was an Albanian Muslim division. They slaughtered Jews and Christians. They sided with the Nazis. So be careful about using the example of World War II. The Mufti of Jerusalem praised Hitler, sided with Hitler, and called for Muslims to ally with Hitler. So be careful of using World War II as your example. No, no, it you, will backfire. Okay. I'm giving you the, 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 what do you call it? The majority of people die in the history, in the mankind history. They are Christian or non-believers. Nothing to do with Islam. The majority yeah, of people died under the communist in a single event. The most bloodiest ideology in history is communism. It killed a hundred million people in one hundred years. They weren't Christian. They weren't Christian. The communists had they were the atheists. State atheism. Okay, okay. State atheism. Yeah. That's communism. Yeah, but so, brother, no, no offense. Majority. No offense. No offense. But you, 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 you're trying to, you're trying to equate. You're trying to equate things, you're trying to ab ascribe bad things about European history to Christianity, okay. but you forget that Christianity has always, that has, has always been bigger than, than Europe. There was an Ethiopian church for 2,000 years. There was a, a Coptic church for 2,000 years. These are two African churches. These are not colonial imports. They were early Christians in Asking Africa, long before America. Europe. I don't want to shout, please no, don't let I me don't shout. shout. So, Christians existed in Africa without conquest. It wasn't imposed. They embraced it of themselves. And then Africans contributed to the theology of European Christianity. Monasticism, one second. Monasticism, we Christians in Europe loved monasticism. It came from Egypt. It was given to us by an African saint called Saint Anthony. The theology of the two cities was given to us by an African called Saint, Gus Saint Augustine. Clement of Alexandria was a church father. Alexandria is in Egypt. So European Christianity was Africanized. 
But Islam in Africa is about Arabization. And what is the difference? Why this difference? Because Christianity teaches that all human beings are equal and that we follow Jesus Christ as our ethical example. Jesus Christ. As our ethical Jesus example. Dogs yeah, yeah, please don't make me shout. No, no, no. Please you're don't make me shout. Yeah, yeah. He's the biggest traitor. Sadly, the this Christ sometimes happens. I have to yeah. raise my voice because bike. triggered Salafist Muslims cannot simply <laughs> do conversation. So, in terms of... Let me, let me finish. I'm landing, bro. I'm landing. Please don't let me... I don't want to... Read. Yeah, yeah, please. Have some manners. Yeah, yeah. Oh, sadly. So, ladies and gentlemen, the difference between Islam and Christianity is in this. Christians do not have to worship God in the language of Jesus because our language is sufficient. Muslims have to worship God in Arabic because their language is not sufficient. They have to use Arabic to speak to God. They have to recite the Quran in Arabic. Furthermore, Muslims, Muslims, Muslims follow the habits of a 7th century Bedouin. Because he ate camel meat, they can eat camel meat. Because he doesn't eat pork, they don't eat pork. The reality is... Did Jesus eat pork? Didn't he follow the uh, law of Moses? Jesus declared all foods clean. Are you circumcised like Jesus? Jesus declared all foods, like Jesus? foods clean. Jesus declared... Yeah, yeah, why are you trying to force yourself into a conversation? Because you're attacking I'm talking Islam. to an uncle. Islam. Have some respect. Islam come Furthermore, and it says in God, the Quran, like Jesus a book whose signs have been distinguished as an Arabic book. So what? So the only way that God speaks to you is in Arabic. By contrast, we Christians believe that the message of God can be translated in any language. The message of God that the point of Christianity. Yeah, yeah. The point of Christianity. Because Yaya yeah, yeah is interrupting he like to shout. the point of Christianity, Yaya, yeah, yeah, is that each nation and people elevate their own culture to the best that their culture can be. Islam says that the best culture you can be is an Arabic one, as evidenced by a man who speaks Arabic with an Arabic name, prays in Arabic to an Arabic city, copying a 7th century Bedouin. At least Islam on, didn't okay. degrade people. And the prophet... No, wait, wait, wait. no, no, don't wait. wait. Go, on. Prophet Go on, uncle. Teach Go on, I'm listening. He is the prophet to all on. mankind. I'm listening. Bringing people to Talks unity me. and worshipping God, while you yeah. worshipping three and so one God. Is God. God, who is not equal to himself, the Father is greater than the Son, greater than... Communicate with God if you are Chinese. Yeah, yeah, I know, but they can hear me here. If you are Spanish. The Father, who is greater than all, and greater than the Son. In your language, you And his God wants the blood to find When you perform Salat, his God is a no one's listening God. to you, Yahya. Yeah, he's the same. We, 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 By the way, Yahya's name comes from the Hebrew root Yahweh. Yeah. So here is a Muslim yeah. using the name of our God for his own name. Yahya, yeah. which comes from the Hebrew Yahweh. Okay. Yeah, and he always called me Yahweh. Am yeah, I am I lying? Am I lying? Okay. You always call no, me Yahweh. No, I'm not lying. It's a fact. It's linguistic. I am not Yahweh. I am Yahya. What's your name? You can call me Bob. Why you ask me, Bob? I gave you my name, and now you're telling me you can call Hashim, me. Hashim, Hashim, Hashim. You, you, you can call me Bob. Why isn't a proud Bob the, name? I'm proud Bob, of my name. Bob the barker, the shouter. Anyway, anyway, he can shout know. more than Yeah, yeah, I'm shouting because you keep interrupting. Because you need to listen to me. Me and him were having a perfectly no, no, calm uh, conversation. We a conversation. No, we're not having I'm a conversation. Trying to have conversation. I was having a calm conversation with him before you forced your way into this conversation. 
And this is so, my channel. Okay. It's time okay. to find the Yahya okay. did, did, where did, I expose your Christianity and your mind. God. Sorry. If you take, take the understanding for your mind, if you if you speak different language, you can communicate with God with any language you know. Brother, you don't, you don't need to speak Arabic. Uncle, you uncle, don't need to uncle, like uncle. Arab. Yeah, yeah, right. Uncle, you, you don't need to dress uncle. like Arab. When you perform, when you perform, look, I, I get, we've got a perfect example of this here in the park. There was a, a Jamaican Christian who converted to Islam, right? He took an Arabic name, he started dressing in Arabic, and he started speaking Arabic with a Jamaican accent. This is Arabization. It, the, what's wrong? Arabization. Arabization. That's what's wrong with it. That's what's wrong. There you go. There you go. Nothing wrong with Arabization. Arabic Nothing wrong with Arabization. Arabic and that is why I reject Islam. That is why I reject Islam. Because my culture is not inferior to Arabic culture, but Islam makes it so. Okay. Islam is not about tradition. Islam is not about tradition. It's about bringing people and unity to worship our Creator. What's the Sunnah? The Sunnah is what the Prophet done. The tradition of the Prophet. The Prophet. He says it's not about tradition, the, but the Sunnah is about the tradition okay, of the Prophet. Allah, allow me. Which Prophet? Allah, An Arab Prophet. Allow me. Allow our me. cultures do not need Arabization. Need to. This brother is Arabized. Everyone. We don't but need you. Arabization. God can elevate your culture. God can elevate your culture. Now you're famous. Arab language, Arabic language is a wealthy language. Uncle, uncle, uncle. Unfortunately, unfortunately, it's a wealthy language. There's too many people now interrupting our conversation. So I just want to say it was a real pleasure speaking to you. And it means you. Real pleasure speaking to you. But I'd like to, honestly, I'd like to speak to you again. Yes, let's speak again. It's just a matter of misunderstanding. Let's. I don't know. You, Are you jealous of Arabic you, language? You, you, you say it on purpose. Like no, 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 because, because he hates Brother, Arab can I and give he you hates a the prophet. I, I and that's it's why a gift for you. He rejects Islam. It's just a gift. It just and explains Islam. what Christians believe. That's all. You know, the prophet Muhammad. No, you don't. Honestly, you don't. No, no, no. You really don't. But I'm offering you this gift if you want it. Uh, okay, no problem. There you go.